the list that you're given, my dad would be very proud of. Really? <laughs> He'd be like, ah, very good, Quidjo. You've learned about the good, <laughs> the good things of Germany. <laughs> he's he's going to love Shout it. Shout out to Deutschland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kwaba. Kazaneza. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're back with a part two about living in Germany for you. We've already done the things that he hates about living in Germany, which if you haven't watched it yet, please go and watch it and then come back to this video. And yeah, so today, because we've already told you, we're going to do a part two where he's going to talk about the things that he loves or that he likes and appreciates about living in Germany. Because we don't want to always be negative. Germany is something, but it's not all negative. <laughs> so It's always a positive or negative side. Yeah, there's always two sides to everything. So that's what we're going to do while we're sipping on some tea. Today, um, you still have the Camilla. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Camilla is chamomile, but I think chamomile, you could have yeah. guessed it anyways. And I have, um, it's like a blueberry and vanilla. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that's going to be, but I wanted to try it. And as always, we're going to have a little tea wisdom. And this one isn't German again. It says, Geduld wird sich auszahlen. So it's basically, um, patience will be worth it. Or like, the pain, like, that. Yeah, so uh, that will be the tea for today, and then let's get to it. Let's dive right into it. Yep. <laughs> so we're doing uh, five things that I like to, that I love about Germany, and let's just get right to it. Start with the first thing. Um, I will have to say recycling. Mm -hmm. I think that recycling in Germany is like really, 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 really good in terms of, of course, coming from the states. Cycling is very good. I like the fact that they take it seriously. Trust me, they're like polices, like even your neighbors. <laughs> if they see you putting something in the rest, which is like all the other things besides plastic or paper or anything. Or bio. Or bio. And it doesn't need to be in rest. It needs to be in like plastic or paper or bio. Your neighbor will tell you you do something wrong. Which ultimately, yes, you know, you get a little annoyed. But I think it's great because it's also good for the world, good for... Germany and the country in itself and it also helps with pollution and all these type of things and it's good to recycle We can reuse some of these things, you know Yeah. So I think that's like one thing that I really love about it and that every apartment every house they all have Bio for like fruits and yeah. foods and things like this Plastic things that you can put in the trash for plastics Paper and then rest of course. So I like the separation of everything compared to US where it's like at least in Georgia, we have like plastic and then everything else. But you know, <laughs> like I think it's better to have it spit out that way and people really pushing for that. But, yeah. Yeah, and also you know, besides the having these little like these separations of uh, things to recycle, <clears throat> also for your plastic bottles and things like this, if they have this little sign on the back, you can take it back to the groceries, throw in this little machine thing, and you get paid for it, which is basically like a couple cents it depends on the type of bottle but yeah. it's like um you don't really get paid for it like i mean you let's bought say it, for so example like you buy bit. water there's the price for water and on top of it they're gonna charge 25 cents yeah so when you get when you bring it back you put it into the machine you're gonna get 25 cents back so yeah. what you do like we did today we just got groceries you bring all your uh plastic bottles that you've used like juices and water whatever mm -hmm. And you all put them in the machine, then you get a little paper, like with a barcode, and when you're at checkout after getting your groceries, then you put uh, put it with your groceries, and they're yeah. going to scan it, and you get money up back, or you're going to get it, like, taken off the bill. Taken off the I mean? bill, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think that's really good, because it actually motivates people to actually yes. recycle, which I think sense. the U.S. should do that too as well. But I'm not a politician, so... <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go but there. But anyways... Uh, <laughs> All right, so second one. Uh, second thing that I love about Germany is definitely an important one, and it's the healthcare system. Mm. I think it really differs from where I came from, and it's really dope to see that everyone can get and help some sort of health healthcare. You know, and I think that's very important for the people living here, whether whether you're in the higher living status or 
lower living status, everyone has access to some sort of health care. Mm -hmm. And I think that's very beneficial. You don't get hit with that bill just to even attend the hospital, like, you know, back home. Because uh, <laughs> back home, you go for a checkup and they'll throw you that thing like, hey, there you go, boom. Unless you're working like in a big job or one of the, in the higher ups, wealthy or anything like that, you get a good insurance and get taxed for it. But like, what about the average person or the people living in lower mm -hmm. costs and stuff like that? So I think Germany is really doing well with that. And I love it that I can go to the dentist, go get a checkup. Even if I get an emergency, because I got my two surgeries here for my knee, and it doesn't affect me in the long run, in the long run, putting me into debt, as That's, if I yeah. if I was in the U.S. Because if I was in the U.S. to this day, shoot, probably with my grandkids, I'll probably be paying that operation <laughs> for my knee. So yeah. Germany does really well with that, and I really love that about Germany. That's so crazy, because like, of course, we learn like in school and just you know news in general you learn about how other countries are like working a little bit so even in school we learned about the american healthcare system yeah because it's like it's it's so crazy because me growing up i've of course i've seen it in movies and stuff but like to even go to the doctor i never had to think twice in yeah. my life i had never never ever did i have to think twice of can i like go to the doctor like do i have insurance is the insurance going to cover all of it or yeah. just partially like i was sick a lot as a kid like i'm still like I have, not important but like all these times i had to yeah. go to the hospital a lot i had to go to the doctors a lot i had to go a bunch of medication when i was younger and even the past couple of years that if without the health insurance yeah geez, so so like I imagine dead. so imagine in the us so imagine in the us that would be tons and tons and tons of debt. But yeah. here, at least you can get some sort of like help no matter what. Like yeah. and it covers most of it. So it's Germany, only thumbs up. Yeah. It's only like if it's like extra stuff, like let's say the dentist, the checkup is for free, like yearly or twice a year. But then if you want to get a tooth cleaning, which technically is only up on top of things, you yeah. pay for yourself. Basic you know, needs. but the basic needs are usually met. Yeah. And then of course, you know, there's other stuff going on other than just the regulations and stuff, which also determines if you get a good health care or not, because yeah. it's also humans that are actually working in it. But like on paper, everybody gets basic needs met. Yep. Yeah. Healthcare. Double thumbs up for me. <laughs> Alright, number three. Numero tres. Dry three. I really like this. I mean, it it, it defer it depends on if you're living in the city or you're living in, in the suburbs or in the countryside, or whatever. But either or in Germany, public transportation is really, really, really good for the most part, mm -hmm. from my experience at least. Uh, so from where we're living, they have trams, uh, actual train trains, big trains, uh, buses. So even if you don't have a car, you can get around in the city and stuff like this. Yeah. But of course, if you're not living in the city, one thing that I do appreciate here that I think in the U.S. is really looked at as like shame or whatever, it's like renting cars. Like renting cars is like really common here. You can you can even have a car for like years and you go to a place and rent it out for like a small like amount of monthly payments or whatever like that, which I think is really, really dope. Because in the U.S., you usually rent cars to either go on vacations or if somebody catches you, I don't know why it's like this, but renting a car to show off or whatever, they're like, but that's not even yours. You're renting it or whatever like that. But here it's like encouraged to like rent. Uh, they have a thing called car, sh car, share car sharing. Say it again. Car sharing. <laughs> <laughs> they have a thing called car sharing here, yeah. which we use sometimes because we have a car right now. Yeah. So when we get, we want to get like big groceries or something like this, we just pay for a specific amount of hours, grab that, go to the grocery store, buy a bunch of groceries, load it up, come back home, take it back and park it where it's designated for to be parked. And they have a whole system about the keys and everything it's, like that. It's so nice. Very practical. Very honestly. practical. And you don't have the ongoing bills of having a exactly. car, which is expensive, especially now, I guess. Exactly. It's expensive, all that stuff. So it's really helpful. I mean, They're Germans really... do love to own their own car and their own things. Yeah. But they also make it like very practical for those who may not want a car 
or can't maybe afford can't a afford car. a car. Yeah. So they have like these type of car sharing things there. Mm -hmm. Of course, they have trains everywhere, trams yeah. everywhere, buses almost everywhere. Yeah. And of course, still taxis and in specific regions or whatever, they have Ubers and things like this that everybody knows about. Yeah. So transportation is like, you're going to get around. Yeah. No matter what, sure. you're going to get around. No matter sure. what, there is an option for you to get around. And... And then nowadays, they also get the little e-scooters exactly. and the e-bikes. So you can exactly. like just get on your phone and just book it like right then and there. Exactly. But like generally, they really encourage people, especially in the city, to not use their own car yeah. or not even have a car and use public transport instead or use the car sharing because, you know, it's also better for the environment. Yeah. yeah. So, again, a thumbs <laughs> up for that, Germany. <laughs> <laughs> On the list is something that I think for not even for the young generation for just everybody in general is that uni is free to the most yeah. to a certain extent not necessarily zero cost but like but basically might as well here. be free yeah you know what I mean yeah. I mean there's one specific region where we live in where for internationals is not like really low cost it costs a lot mm -hmm. but comparing that to the states it's a great deal great 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 deal yeah. so if, if you're looking to like further education or even take some side courses or anything like that germany is really good and promotes learning and further education higher, they higher learning love international students exactly every university like the one i've been to my current one every like Friends that I know, their univer every university prides themselves yeah. when they have a lot of international students. Because exactly. that's like a thing of like standard. Because here, most universities that you go to is public. We don't really, I mean, we do have private ones, but usually the standard ones and also the ones that people like, how can I say, like, usually if you go to a private university here in Germany, it's either that you're trying to buy your degree mm -hmm. or that it's kind of like frowned upon, honestly. Oh, well, yeah. With the normal people, not within the rich people. Yeah. I don't know. At least from my experience. Don't don't quote me. And or it's like a very specific type of degree that you can't get in public ones. Like my brother, for example, went to a private one because they there was no music like production class for yeah. a public one, like stuff like that. But like technically the base like the what no like most people go to and what is really good high standards here is the public ones. Yeah, no, I think I think yeah. it's I think it's really dope and a lot of pe people should have this concept of free education mm -hmm. yeah definitely because then it's like if you do want to go to have that education like yeah. you're able to not everyone can be able to afford it yeah but also have the ability they have the ability to do it they have the knowledge to do it they have the motivation to do it yeah but it's just the what's holding them back is the money the finance yeah which you know those of you know who live in the states know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. it's crazy almost everyone coming out of uni college whatever you want to say it, it's in debt yeah and how do you build your life when you just accumulated all this debt just to just because you want to like further your education and learn by a specific skill and stuff like this like yeah it's absolutely crazy to me and i think i think that's something that you need to work on but in germany it's really 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 cool it's really really dope once again camera shut off we need to still figure this camera out oh uh, yeah, yeah but anyways about, about uni like yeah thumbs up for uni it being free but of course it certain like for international students yeah. it's certain requirements you must uh reach and have in terms of living costs being able to live in germany they put all these type of things in there insurance bank all these type of things and if you check off of the list then of course yeah. the education part it's at low cost you only have basically you have like an administration fee per semester, which is really low compared to other yeah. countries. Like in my, where I did my bachelor's, it was 72 yeah. euros in one semester. That's yeah. nothing. So it really the cost that you're going to have to li like be able to afford is living costs, groceries, all that stuff. Even books, you don't have to pay a bunch yeah. of money on. But anyways. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? I so I recommend. I recommend. Yeah. Come by. Yeah. Yeah, but well you got to learn German though. Yeah, you gotta learn German though sometimes. Well, mostly if you sometimes. come for your master degree, there's a lot of English options. But for bachelors, usually you have to come and learn German first for one year, like intensive course, and then you study in German. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Tell yeah. me what's the next one. <laughs> um, the last one. 
the last but not least, guys, that I love, 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 love what? about Germany. I've never seen him so hyped about Germany. Love it. Like, I love it. It's football. No. <laughs> no, trust me. I love football, but... <laughs> what is it? Not here. It's my lovely, lovely, lovely... Ooh, did I have a wet spot here? Am I sweaty? <laughs> It's my lovely, lovely, lovely. I got to meet my Sherry. Yeah. Aren't so, you glad you came here? That's my fifth one. <laughs> is that I came here and I met her. Mm -hmm. And we've been together for so long. And now Wanna, we live together. Honestly, the best thing in Germany. Ass. No. <laughs> Cutie. But yeah, that's my last. That's a good and one. That's the best one. That's the best one. I mean, y'all can't come here and get my shirt eat, but y'all can come find your own love you can, of your you life. You can try <laughs> and come find your own uh, mixed girl, mixed with German. Not even that. <laughs> <laughs> you nah. Do what y'all doing. It's just me right here. Feel me. Feel, <laughs> <Ew>, okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's my, I guess you could say four or five things I love about Germany, Deutschland. You Love know what I'm saying? We can get a little quick recap, you know, recycling. You know what I mean? Do, 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 do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what these sound that? effects, these sound effects, and stuff like that. <laughs> Put it everywhere. Do, 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 do. Uh, was that a different bin? Yeah, different bins. Huh? Do, 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 do. It's like when you play the game. Every time I go try to recycle the thing, it's like a funny game. Put one here. Put one. Here. Oh my what? goodness. Yeah. And the, sec <sighs> the second thing was transportation. Mm -hmm. Good on transportation. Your boy be walking, taking buses, riding a bicycle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Third thing the was bicycle. the insurance. Your boy's insured out here. You feel me? Mm. Dentist check. Got it clean last time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every checkup is Gucci, <laughs> no debt. Fourth thing is free uni for my higher learning people out there. I actually took some classes here too as well. So I use it to my benefit. Of course, yep. I had to pay because this region, you gotta pay though. But it's all good. But uh, it was still okay. Yeah, compared to me, I go for free. But then I commute, which is expensive yeah. as hell. And <laughs> lastly, mm -mm. the beautiful, the beautiful Shetty Emily. Uh, yeah, guys. So, like we told you guys, pros and cons to everything. Yeah. I have some cons, of course. But these are the positive ones for those out there. If you think about coming to Germany or anything like that, it's not too bad. You know what I mean? It's not all bad. Yeah. You know, people are cool sometimes. <laughs> we have a separate video about the people in Germany, okay? Yeah. We'll come back to you. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Press the notification bell so you know that we're dropping new videos. Subscribe. And don't forget to talk with us. Comment down below. Tell us what you thought about this video. Tell us what you want to see. What perspective you want us to, us to talk about. And if you agree, yeah. What's your experience living your in experience? Germany? What are the things that you love? What do you, you know? Just let us know. We're always happy to see everybody else's opinions on stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Thanks for checking in for another video of spilling the tea while we sip on some tea. <laughs> I'm already done because I've been drinking. <laughs> See you next time. Peace. Bye.